Hello everybody, this is Stringing Gamer back to conclude round two of the group stage. And we're concluding it with group H. In this session, we are going to see Red Bean Ice Cream going up against Dragon Destroyer. Blood Moon going up against Asta. And then Shin Dominus taking on Dan Sora. Right, let's get on with the matches, shall we? Well, either everyone could be a level on points or the top three will pull away. Okay, in the red corner for the Red Bean Ice Cream, we have got... A Patasaurus. The secret version. Red Bean Ice Cream didn't... Well, they did alright against... Actually, it's actually a good game against Dinosaurus, but Dinosaurus just edged out in the end. Backing up the Apatosaurus, we have got... Paris. Okay, well, field are we on? I just, I just noticed. Okay, the beach field. Which is, in fact, pretty bad news for Dragon Destroyer. And you'll see why in a minute. Well, I'm sure you know why. Anyway, in the blue corner, we have Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Will we ever get an Alpha field that features an Alpha Dinosaur? We'll have to see. Probably not. <laughs> Okay, so Red Bean wants to swap when HP's in the red, and Dragon Destroy when HP's below half. Okay, backing up the Alpha Acro is the Orange Triceratops. Super Triceratops, that is. I'll wait for mode on two. Actually, I'll, d I'll double check real quick. I think it's two. Yep, it is two. But it does have terrain disadvantage here, so it's going to be a little bit of a problem, yes. <laughs> So this Alpha Acro may have to do a wee bit of work. And that is a good start from Red Bean Ice Cream getting off the defense burst and the elemental power there. I think it's got elemental power. There's the defense burst and there's the elemental power. Good start. Considering all of Acro's moves are fire moves as well. That's a tie. Oh, it took a lot of damage there, that Apatosaurus. And it's gonna take a lot of damage from this crit. Oh, not too much. But this Volcano Burst will make up for that. And that will put Dragon Destroyer in the lead. Well, he was in the lead, but he won't be anymore. Because the Apatosaurus gets a crit this time. More elemental powerage there. Ooh, and a support effect from Paris. Well, it's time to swap Mr. Bean Ice Cream. No, not Red Bean Ice Cream, the other dude. Oh, but he's not going to get the swap. Instead, it's Alpha Acrocampasaurus biting the dust and Red Bean Ice Cream extending the lead. And we're going to be extending it more because... This Triceratops has terrain disadvantage, so the Patasaurus will get the hit here. Okay, Awaken Mode could get the, um, could get Dragon Destroyer back in this contest. Ooh, another support effect. The yeah, Patasaurus healing up. Wait, wait, time, Triceratops. Well, he needs the hit here, as simple as that. If you don't get the hit, then Red Bean's probably going to get a bonus point win. Ooh, oh, that's a tie. That'll help. Another tie. Ties will definitely help Dragon Destroyer get back in this contest. And that is a hit. The Awaken Mode killing the Apatosaurus here and getting Dragon Destroyer back in this contest. Paris will get hit as well and will not have the chance to heal. Although, Red Bean will be guaranteed the loser bonus point there because the Triceratops' HP is below half. So, while not, like, right back in it, Dragon Destroyer is back in the contest. But one hit from Red Bean Ice Cream will win him the match. But can he get the hit? The orange Triceratops piling the pressure on here. Oh, look at that! There's even 
All of a sudden, now Red Bean could lose this match. Oh, it's a tie. Are we going to get a tie? Well, look at this all of a sudden. Oh, and the Orange Triceratops has won it. Orange Triceratops has achieved the come from behind victory for Dragon Destroyer. And Red Bean Ice Cream licking his wounds and thinking, how did they not win this match? Well, that went a bit, that went wrong for Red Bean Ice Cream, didn't it? They will get a losing bonus point. And that's all they'll be getting from this match. But it's Dragon Destroyer making it two out of two with a come from behind victory. Ooh, the come from behind victories are the best ones, aren't they? Right, let's get on with our second matchup, shall we? Ooh, in the Colosseum. Okay, in the red corner, for Mr. Blood Moon, we have got the T-Rex. Blood Moon got to a winning start last time out against Shin Dominus. In a quite fast match because both of them got big hits off. Backing up the T-Rex, we got the Deinonychus, which could be key for Blood Moon here. This Deinonychus will have the terrain advantage. Bing, and Deinonychus definitely showed its worth last time out as well. Okay, in the blue corner for Asta, we have got the Decreosaurus. I wouldn't entirely count Asta out of this contest though. This Decreosaurus does have type advantage over the T-Rex. So that could come in handy here. So I feel like Asta could take the lead, but with the terrain advantage that the Deinonychus will have, Blood Moon will come back into it. But we'll see how this match plays out. Backing up the uh, the Kreosaurus, we've got another Titan. The duck build Beast. Coming in here. Didn't see too much of it last time out. In fact, it didn't really happen for Asta at all against uh, Dragon Destroyer. I think it was Dragon Destroyer. Yeah, it was, no, it was... Um, yeah, it was Dragon Destroyer. Yes, I know. Swap. Come on, then! <laughs> okay, so, no terrain advantage is here. Oh, oh, well, um, that's a good start, isn't it? If you pull a boot. Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, so, no time, no time to swap yet. Uh, remember in the last tournament when Blood Moon basically bullied his first two opponents with a T-Rex in the first two matches? Kind of starting to look like that. Well, oh, Dino, of course it's a Dino Stuffer. He didn't even get the crit off. <laughs> oh, Asta can't catch a break in this match so far, but he does get the swap. So, that, so he can save that Decreosaurus for another day. Oh, oh, another hit from the T-Rex. Oh, this, this, is gonna, this is gonna be a bonus point win for Blood Moon, isn't it? It's gonna be rock, isn't it? Oh, no, it's scissors. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> Asta coming back into it with their first hit of the match. Well, technically it's their second, but the dino stuff was like, no, no, no. Here comes the big foot assault. Putting its foot down on the T-Rex. Ooh, now this could be handy because the shock wave will take away one of the T-Rex's moves. So it will guarantee Asta at least a chance to get a, a better chance to get the next hit, which could be a crit. Ooh, ooh, bloody dodge our bullet there, getting the tie. Ooh, is that below half? I think that's smack on halfway. This won't be time to swap yet. Okay, now he's below half. Ooh. But the T-Rex isn't going to get the swap. The Deinonychus will get a hit as well. Well, it was a strong start from Blood Moon, but Asta coming back into it. I would say that Deinonychus is still a big factor for Blood Moon here. As is that crit. Well, there goes another Titan. <laughs> Blood Moon re-establishing the control of this match. And actually, depends on much health the Decreosaurus is on. Blood Moon might have just guaranteed the win. 
yeah, I, th I think Blood Moon might have guaranteed the win here. But can he get the bonus point? The answer to that is no, but Blood Moon will win this match because Deinonychus comes in with a terrain advantage, which means he will get the hit. And it'll be a banana surprise, so it's Blood Moon making it two out of two. Wee -boosh. <laughs> Well, as to put up a fight, but yeah, that T-Rex did all the damage and the Deinonychus came in with a cheap terrain advantage to wrap it up. And Blood Moon, like in the last tournament, is getting off to a strong start. As for Asta, meh, gonna have to get going quick. Especially since I think this is, but we'll have a look at the group table at the end. Right, we've got one more match to do and this match will conclude round two for the group. Well, let's see how this match plays out. Okay, in the red corner, for Shin Dominus, we have got the Omega Eokakaria. Eokakaria! Okay, Sunset Beach, which, well, doesn't affect anybody, because neither of our guys have water or grass dinosaurs. In fact, they both have fire dinosaurs. And, well, two secret dinosaurs. Alright, backing up the Eokark, we got Eoraptor. What will it transform into this time? Okay, that's not the worst for da for Dansaur there. Stratosaurus, it, 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 it can deal with that. Although, it will buff up the Eocarcaria's attack, which is a, will be a problem if it gets off consecutive hits. So Dansaurus will have to make sure that doesn't happen. Right, speak of the devil, in the blue corner, we got the Sorofagonax. Um, didn't do really do much last time against Red Bean Ice Cream. It was mainly the crowd that did all the work. Okay, so, yeah. Just double checking when both these guys want to swap. Backing up the Faganets, we got the Crown of the Saurus. Now, I think... Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough one to call. I feel like Dan Saurus, if he gets big hits on that Eoraptor, I think that's the way he could win this match. I mean, the Eocarcaria is a big threat here. And from Shindominus' perspective, I'd probably say the Faganax is the biggest threat. But we'll see what happens. Ooh, and it's Shindominus opening up with a crit. And yeah, here it comes. One electric charge. Actually, if you think about it, if you have the Eoraptor in second and you're using Flare Sword, Flare Sword's kind of nullified because the Eoraptor's gonna get off support effects every time. Although I think in this case, because it's Strachosaurus, you can only get off two electric charges. Okay, so yes, Dansaurus attempting the swap there, but it's not gonna work. And this is a strong start from Shin Dominus. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, heal it up as well. So, uh, yeah, this is not good for Dinosaurus. That Eocarcaria is now maxed, maxed up in attack power. Now. Oh, really not good for Dinosaurus. Eocarcaria doing serious damage so far. And all the more while, that bar below him is going to get filled. Yeah, well, it's all up the crowd of Asaurus again. Well, it's all or nothing now for Saurus. Okay, there's a hit on the board. If he can kill the Eocarcaria quickly, Dansaurus can come back into this. We've seen bigger comebacks than this. Ooh. Might be eating my words here, counting Dansaurus out. Well, I might be. All of a sudden, the momentum is with Dan Soros. Now things get interesting because your raptor's got to come out to play. And as you're about to see, this your raptor is a fragile beast. Look at that! Not even a crit. Oh, oh, it's a tie. Oof. Bet Shin Dominus is relieved to see that be a tie. Another tie. 
And there's the win for Dan Saw as well. After re a, a horrible start, I mean, the Saw of Fagonax just got smoked. But the Kralophosaurus, cool as a cussed cucumber, gets the job done for Dan Saurus yet again. And that makes Group H very interesting. Well, Group H is looking very interesting. All of our combatants that won in the previous round won again. Although, Red Bean Ice Cream did get another losing bonus point, so they, they're in touching distance. But Aster and Shindominus yet to get going. Right, let's have a look at round three. So, round three, we will in fact see a clash at the top between Dragon Destroyer and Blood Moon. Then we will have Red Bean Ice Cream going up against Shindominus. Ooh, that could be a big game for these two. And then, Aster going up against Dan Saurus. And yeah, I think... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a bonus point win for either of these three will pretty much all but secure their places in the last 32. So yeah, a lot to play for in round three. And maybe, just maybe, our first person, our first combatant to guarantee their last 32 spot could come from this group. Nah, let's face it, it's gonna be me! <laughs> Ugh. But anyway, that concludes round two, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, well, the real fun is going to begin in round three. Will we see some casualties early on in round three? You'll have to find out next time. And until then, ta-ta!